All right, let's start building the HTML of our project. Now, what you're seeing here is very, very simple HTML. We basically have one big container that wraps everything in here, and inside of that container, the, the main container, are two other containers, one being a nav menu container, and then another one being a Im like a photo container or image container, something like that. Um, and actually, it's in this image container that we're going to have another bunch of divs that are for each different image we have. And inside of the navigation menu, we're going to have uh, a, an unordered list of list items just to give you a quick view at the code. This is actually all it takes, nice and simple. I, uh, I'm using the Google CDN over here to get the latest version of jQuery. I'm calling in my own script. I have my own style document. And basically, here's the main container that holds everything. Inside of there is the navigation menu, which is going to have, right now, it just has pretty simple links over here, just the um, hash marks or the pounds over there, because essentially JavaScript is handling all that. And inside here, we have the photo container. And the photo container is the bigger wrapping class that holds all these things, or the ID. It's an ID because it's unique on the page. There's only going to be one photo container. but I made sure to name like my Grandmaster Flash and Beastie Boys. I made sure to do to make it a CSS class because I'm actually reusing this class uh, above and below. So, uh, well, actually, let me just start building this up now. Uh, let me go to Dreamweaver, and I'm going to start with a new HTML document. And uh, you know we like to use the XHTML strict now, so we'll make sure we're using that. Hopefully by uh, this time you guys aren't already using HTML5 religiously. I don't think these videos will be uh, that old by that time. Uh, or they may be old, who knows. Uh, okay, let's start off with our main document. I'm going to save it. Let me name it uh, Photo Viewer. Alright, so let's start with the outermost container. That's div ID and that's our container oops something wrong here I could tell already because uh, alright so let me copy this anytime the code hinting um, the coloring is a little bit off it makes me suspicious and I always go to check to see what what possibly could be wrong with my syntax already uh, it wasn't anything in this one so div id now this is my nav menu and I'll okay and div id what are we going to call this thing uh let me go photo or yeah now let's call it viewport that sounds like we know what we're talking about and that will ends viewport okay uh, pretty simple we have our navigation menu and our viewport so what are we going to do let's in our nav menu now um, we'll add our our list right I'll start the UL I'll start it in code view and I'll probably do this split thing Oops, look at that. Errors already. Errors, that's a good thing I went in design view. Um, ID. Oh, that was goofy. Look at that. Div ID equals container. Oh, duh, what am I doing? Nothing wrong yet. Ah, there they are. They go away. Okay, let's move on. All right, I have my unordered list. I'll start my list item here, and I'll go what? 
Beastie Boys. Okay, and then I'll probably I'll just start working from here. What do I have? I have Beastie Boys. Um, Grandmaster Flash. Uh, Run DMC and Slick Rick. All menu items. Actually, just for myself, I want to change the order of these things. Okay, there we go. I have my linked, my unordered list, my link items right in there in my navigation menu. I'm um, cool. Now, in the viewport, I'm going to do that same deal, uh, but I'm going to do divs, and I'm going to give them a class, and the class is going to be... Uh, so right now i got to consider a naming convention, right? Because they're not in my CSS yet. So I want to kind of be consistent with what I do. Hate using any kind of, you don't, you know, spaces and all that. Don't do it. Um, I guess you could go Grandmaster dash flash, or you could do the camel case with the lower, with the lower case G and uppercase F. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do, I'm going to use dashes. Why not? since that's what I did and I'll just make sure to be very careful how I do it because you know half the time your errors aren't going to be in in your logic and how you you know what I mean is how you implemented your design but it's going to be like something syntax and I've seen students go batty and email me with questions like you know I don't know why this isn't working I spent all night blah 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 and <laughs> It ends up being something like um, like a space, or it's just it's uh, it's hard for me to even come up with stuff because sometimes the things are so subtle. Like um, you know what a common thing is is that sometimes students will put like, "Hey, how come my margin isn't working?" And I look into their CSS and I look at that at their margin attribute, and their margin attribute says like margin left fifty. Why isn't it working? Well, it just says fifty, not fifty. PX, you know what I mean. So it's like after a while, when you get tired, your eyes get trained to see it one way, and and then you go a little bonky uh, trying to figure out what the problem is. When it's you know to fresh eyes, when you email me, it's like I not in the mental place that you are, so I get to see it a little bit clearer. Um, okay, now we basically have the very basic HTML structure that we need to get things started. I mean, we're gonna be adding classes and links and all that stuff in a second uh, oh you know what I guess we ought to right here at the start let's let's make these all links uh, a href equals and I'm just gonna put the pound mark and close it and then do the same thing here make sure you nest these links inside of course if you don't like doing it that way you could always do it the old uh, with the property in bar over here which is eh, it's just as good as any I mean actually almost probably a little more efficient using well using what you paid for that's why you paid for Dreamweaver for little features like this instead of doing them in manually in the uh, code view